الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين اللهم صل على محمد النبي الأمي وعلى آله وسلم تسليما اللهم صل على محمد النبي الأمي وعلى آله وسلم تسليما اللهم صل على محمد النبي الأمي وعلى آله وسلم تسليما Alhamdulillah, we have completed uh, 24 hadith from the book of Imam An-Nawi rahmatullahi alayhi. This is only the blessing and bounty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we are still continuing. We are starting from hadith number 25 and this is also uh, like the previous hadith. It is an author from on the authority of Abu Dhar radiallahu anhu. He said, some of the companions of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa said to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa that, O oh, Messenger of Allah, the affluent have taken the rewards, or the rich people have taken the rewards. They pray as we pray, they fast as we fast, they give in charity the excess of their wealth. He said, Has not Allah made something for you to do in charity? Indeed, in each saying of Subhanallah is a charity. Each Allahu Akbar is a charity. Is uh, each Alhamdulillah is a charity, each La ilaha illallah is a charity. Enjoining what is right is charity, prohibition what is wrong is a charity, and in the sexual intercourse of one of you is a charity. They said, O Messenger of Allah, does one of us indulge in his desire and get for it a reward? He said, Have you considered? If he were to do it unlawfully, would he have for it a burden? Similarly, when he does it lawfully, he will have for it a reward. This is narrated by Imam Muslim Rahmatullahi Alayhi. So this is a famous hadith of Sahaba Radiallahu Anhum and a proof of Sahaba Radiallahu Anhum's eagerness and their uh, inclination towards excelling one another in doing good deeds so they are comparing themselves with the people who have wealth and they make sadaqah so these sahaba radiallahu anhum they didn't have wealth so they were unable to make any sadaqah any uh, good deeds so what they did is they went to our prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and told him that oh prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam these rich people are taking all the rewards what we can do so prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that each subhanallah is charity each Alhamdulillah is charity, each Allahu Akbar is charity, each La Ilaha Illallah is charity, and to do uh, uh, um, enjoining one another for right thing, prohibiting for the wrong thing, means Amr bil Ma'roof, Nahi Anil Munkar is charity, and even when uh, doing sexual intercourse with our halal wives, this is also a charity. So Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Sahaba was asked, the uh, Sahaba asked that Ya Rasulullah, how come it is charity that when we are uh, indulging ourselves with our wives? So Prophet Sallallahu said that if you are doing it in an unlawful way, then that is haram. You will get the sin. So you are doing something in lawful and halal way, then it is also this is becoming a reward for you. This is a charity for you. So this hadith has given a way of uh, different ways of charity that uh, one can perform then the similar type of hadith on the authority of abu hura radiallahu anhu hadith number 26 he said <clears throat> messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said upon the people's every joint a charity is due each day the sun rises so whenever the sun rises each on each people on each man there is a responsibility of charity upon every joint in his body he has to make charity on uh, on behalf of each of the joints he has in there in his body. Your being, then Professor Asam saying, your being just between two persons is a charity. If you become just between two persons, it is charity. You're helping a man with his mount is a charity. So he, he is unable to do ride his mount and ride his horse or donkey or any other thing. You are helping him to ride it. It is also a charity. Okay, Lift him, lifting him onto it or hoisting up his belongings onto it for him is a charity. 
So giving him his belongings also is charity. Okay. And good word is a charity. Saying something very good is al kalimatu tayyibatu sadaqatun. Good word is a charity. And with each step you take, walking to prayer is a charity. Each step, whenever we are coming to the masjid for jamaat, for congregational prayer, then it is a charity. And you're moving, removing something harmful from the road is a charity. You were walking through a road and then you uh, you struck with something or you saw something that will harm people. You just kept it away from the road. That is also a charity. This hadith is narrated by Imam Bukhari Rahmatullahi. So in this hadith and the previous hadith, different forms of uh, sadaqah has been mentioned. Charity has been mentioned. And this hadith is saying that when someone is waking up in the morning from each joint of his body, he should make sadaqah on behalf of it because they are sound, they are healthy. So uh, as because Allah has given us the wealth and also the body, as there is zakah or sadaqah on behalf of wealth, there is also zakat and sadaqah on behalf of the body. So the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving the body and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is allowing us to, uh, to, to be healthy. So we should be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So how we can be thankful? We can perform good deeds through our limbs. That is the sadaqah. Like we do perform good deeds by our wealth, giving it to the poor people, feeding others, going for hajj, going for umrah, going for jihad. All of these things involve the wealth. Similarly, uh, also, if we are performing good deeds through our body, that is the zakah or sadaqah on behalf of the body. So the word sulama. So the word sulama. Because sulama. Uh, sulama here is in the hadith, the Arabic word of joint. But the sulama is actually the smallest bones in the camel's skeleton. If we think of a camel, and the smallest bones in the camel's skeleton is called sulama. Or it can be referred to the joints or bones in the human hand and feet. So it can be say as those joints, small, small things, small joints of our um, uh, hands and feet. So I think they call it like carpal, metacarpal bones in the... Uh, in human body so those things can be called sulama but in precisely generally it means the joints of the body so each joint uh, on behalf of each, each joint i should make sadaqa every day so this has given this the way how we can do but in another hadith so it, it, professor some said different ways to do cha charity as uh, as in the previous hadith there is different way good talk in this hadith, there is each step you go to masjid is a, a sadaqa. All these things can be regarded as the the deeds that involves our body is be, can be regarded as the sadaqa of the uh, body on behalf of the body. Now, um, in another hadith, Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has mentioned that if someone Okay, if someone is performing two rakah of duha prayer, two rakah of duha prayer in the beginning of the day, that will be sufficient for him as a sadaqah of the whole body. So, if we are performing two rakah of duha prayer, it is uh, it is enough for us. So, duha prayer can be regarded as the ishraq prayer, or it can be regarded as chast prayer as well. So chasht, we say in Indian subcontinent, we say chasht. In Arabic, it is called duha. Some ulama say this is ishraq. So, but uh, the, the, uh, the accepted opinion and uh, which can in, include all of these things uh, can be the meaning of duha. Duha means you after sunrise and before the sun comes directly over the head. That is the time of zawal. So between these two, if someone is praying to Raka of prayer, inshallah he will be. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give him the reward of making sadaqa on behalf of each joint in his body. 260 joints in his body. 
So that's all for today, inshallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq to do all of these amal. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq to do duha prayer. Maybe you can uh, refer to as ishraq prayer. If you are performing two rakah of ishraq, it will be uh, regarded as the sadaqa or charity on behalf of each joint of our body. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq. Subhanallah wa bihamdi subhanaka Allahumma wa bihamdika. أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت أستغفرك وأتوب إليك